Well, welcome back to BRS, Old Bear's Rod Shop. And uh, here this afternoon, we're looking up here at the old sticker board, and uh, it needs to get filled up. So hit my about sign, uh, about, uh, not sign, but hit my about. And if you'd like a sticker from BRS, uh, please uh, email me. Uh, whether you're a subscriber or not, and I'll send you a sticker. Back on the old uh, Paramatic today, again, this part four, and I went over to a real close uh, friend, buddy, uh, Mr. Jason Conrad. He loaned me a puller. Uh, I have a puller similar to this, but the lip right in here to grab this bearing, and uh, let's go over here real quick to the table. Has a 70,000 snap ring that goes in here. And mine, I didn't want to grind them down. Uh, mine were heavier. They were up to like, uh, you know, eighth inch. And uh, so let's lay this down here a minute. Anyway, loan me his puller. And we're much appreciated, much appreciated. Now, every once in a while, you know, in our boat bins, we don't have uh, a bunch of uh, three-quarter by 18 thread pitch bolts. And you can see right now, I need this to be threaded on down. And I'm not going to run on to my Ace Hardware and spend four or five bucks for a bolt. But this one is going to work fine in this puller to push down on the pressure plate. Working with one hand here to lift this bearing out and uh, clean the threads and uh, his threads are clean. So a dilemma. No, I don't want to turn that shank down, and I don't uh, need to. Let's lay this right here. Let's go down here real quick. Half-inch ball bearing. That's going to give me a half-inch more of thread. Let's drop it in this hole. You know, we got to do what we got to do when we're hobbyists. Yes, I could fast forward this. Now, so we're going to get about almost a half inch of lift, and the bearing is only a half inch. So I'm going to put this in the uh, stand real quick. Do where I'm probably looking at the ceiling. And we're going to hold it right there. And this is 15 sixteenths. His lip on his holder was absolutely killer. I mean, it was thin. Yeah, I could go over and get a ratchet or an impact, but we're gonna do this gently. Let's turn this around so this is not a long drawn out video. Let's pull this top bearing out of here. And uh, hope everybody's having a, a good fall. Get down on top of his head. Yeah, we'll just take up as much thread as we can. And I have another ball bearing down here and save. She's grabbing this lip just perfectly. Got to come up uh, kind of symmetrically. Yeah, the paramedic needs new bearings. It, it had uh, drag on the other one that I showed in uh, part three. This is part four.
Everybody would probably wish I'd fast forward this, but uh, we're just gonna work this gently up here, here. My ball cap shouldn't be in the way. Actually, I wish I had a got a ratchet. The reason I'm saving the old bearing is I want to make sure the numbers and the size spec out exactly top and bottom. These are the ones for the spindle. And then let's pull on this one. Not gonna do a lot of talking here. Now, let's put a little free on on this, Barry. Let's shrink her. Give her a little assist here. Old age. We sure don't want to just hurt his puller. It's got a good grip on that lip. I bet you guys wish that old Bear would get his act together and get pull an impact out here. But she's coming up out of here. Like I say I want to save to make sure both the number on the race uh, bearings are the same for our order. Just coming up out of here good. Pull her nice and even. Bingo. All right, drop the bearing. And there we are. Hope you can see us all right. But uh, yeah, if this is a groove, uh, Jason Conrad's uh, just a wonderful machinist and he's got all kinds of tools that I don't have. And I had a clamshell to go on this thing. Let's set this down just a minute. Give you a little walk around the uh, today for part four. So that is out. Worked like a champ. Nope, I didn't try any of this before. And uh, of course, uh, this afternoon we're going to pull this motor off. And uh, I'm smart enough to know to put my cherry picker on that thing because I don't need any more broke toes. Uh, you guys, I'm sure every shop that don't have one of these, wish they had. This is a sure shot. So I have cleaned thoroughly before I pulled all this inside with this sure shot using diesel and 98% alcohol mix. And, uh, she's cleaning up really nice. We can see down in here. And so, uh, more paint removal required, more rust removal, of course, required. Got my drip pan under here. But always keep you a can of old uh, 134A around and uh, use uh, that to freeze. It come right out. Really looking good 
inside here. Now to finish stripping her down and uh, getting her cleaned up and getting a uh, motor off. But please, yeah, send me a request on my about. Hit my email. I'd love to have your sticker up here and uh, we'll send them anywhere in uh, the world that we can. Yeah, stamps are a little high for overseas, but that's all right. You guys uh, following uh, Bears Rod Shop and old Sammy that's looking down on us, she's going to be proud that uh, another project's going on, and uh, this is going to end up turning out really nice, uh, usable drill press uh, slash uh, milling machine. Because like I said in the other video, across this table, we're going to take that Wells Index, and we're going to modify and uh, do the uh, milling machine uh, bed off that Wells Index across here. So uh, one last look at the bearing that just come out, and uh, we'll be now getting uh, replacement parts. Quill looks really good. Uh, you know, the spindle looks really good. And uh, I think I got a really good, decent buy at that auction sale on this machine. It's staying here. Bears Rod Shop, we're out for October 29th. Please, again, visit old Joe Pye, Rusty Knox, uh, Randy Richards, on and on and on. You can uh, stop the video and you can see the stickers. We'd love to fill this board up this year. Uh, 2023 and uh, make Texas kind of disappear with stickers. We're out of here. And uh, please subscribe and hit that button. And uh, back, uh, please uh, go over to Steve Summers' site and tell him you're so glad that he's back on that big old do wall mill. Uh, he's uh, got his truck finally finished up and he's back to uh, doing what Steve does best showing and teaching us, uh, you know, and John over John's workshop there overseas. Uh, Maddie, let's see. Where is Maddie? Right there, over there at the tip of Australia. Man, please, uh, you know, there he is right up there. He is teaching us phenomenal. And Everett, Please let me know if you ever receive my sticker. And uh, let's all see if we can't encourage DJ over at uh, Falkenberger's uh, Foblin Coblin to come back into the picture because we sure miss you, uh, DJ. David, uh, anything we can do for you, you let us know. And Sammy's looking after you as well. Art Cave, uh, on and on. Uh, Greg over at uh, My Little Mule and uh, Garden Tractor Boy and uh, Dylan over at HFM. And, uh, you know, we're not seeing a whole lot from uh, Knox Machine. Mark, I hope you're doing all right. And uh, Harold over at ARW, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Honestly, uh, we know what you're going through. And if you need anything, you let Bears Rod Shop know in an email. We'll try to help. God bless, and uh, we're out of here for Bears Rod Shop. Yes, we have a mixed bag, but uh, this is my first uh, sign that I had back in 97, and it's always been Bears Rod Shop. We're out of here.